everyone. My name is Brian Inuma. Our company is Strategic Systems Group. We are a Los Angeles-based IT consulting firm and experts in enterprise resource planning. With me, I have Greg Horn, who will take us through an overview of Dynamics 365 Business Central. Hello again, this is Greg Horn, and I am back with part two of our demonstration tour of Dynamics 365 Business Central. This demonstration it will cover the reporting capabilities of Business Central. There are hundreds of reports in the, in the system, and I want to show an example of a non-financial report or one that isn't related to the general ledger. So again, I'll use the customer example, go up to reports and show you an example of a customer balance to date. This is a similar graphical or a report version of the view that I was just looking at. So when I launch that report, you see some additional options that I can use to modify how the report looks. So let's just go ahead and we'll print preview this to the screen so you can see what the report looks like out of the box. I have the ability to be able to navigate through this report on the screen and you can see how a standard report looks out of the box. As I had said, there are hundreds of reports in the system, and this is just one of the examples. The, you also have the ability to be able to take this standard report and utilize what's called the custom layout designer and modify this to your business requirements. So that's an example of a non-financial report. So for the accountants, controllers, or chief financial officers out there, the question would be, how do we generate financial statements in Business Central? These reports are called account schedules. So I'm gonna go up to the account schedules and show you an example of an account schedule. So as we bring up the account schedules, you will see all of your standard financial statements. Uh, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, income statement, statement of retained earnings. I'm going to show an example of a balance sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to print that to the screen. And again, you see uh, some, some layout definitions so we can change again the look and feel. Account schedules are made up of the account schedule and the column layout. And I'll talk a little bit more about these in a second. So again, I will go ahead and I'll print preview this to the screen. And you will see a, a sample of a uh, balance sheet in, in the system. So now how do I modify these? Because these are reports that are typically uh, modified in the system. So the first part is the row definitions in the financial statement. And we go in and we edit the account schedule and you'll see it brings up the row definitions for the, ba for the balance sheet. Things you can do in here are go in and modify uh, things like how the account groupings are mapped, the calculation formulas and how the chart of accounts are mapped. Now, for the row, de the row definitions, let's go back and define our column layouts. In the column layouts is where we define the columns and what data is going to be going in the columns. Some examples in the column layouts are you could create multi-period columns, divisional presentation, a net change column and percent change. Those are just a couple of examples. Taking the combinations of account schedules and column layouts give you unlimited possibilities for your financial statements. So those are the reporting capabilities. Thank you for joining us today and congratulations for investing time in your education. We'd like to offer a way to continue our conversation if any of what we presented resonates with you, please register for a 30-day trial of Dynamics 365 Business Central. The trial will provide you with an opportunity to evaluate the application using the provided sample data or your own data. To sign up, would you please click on the link below.
Again, our thanks and make it a great day.